Do you want to see it? I would love to see it. National Academy of Recording Arts and Sciences Lifetime Achievement Award 2021, Selena. Wow. Isn't what this is awesome? Like? It's amazing. start with a quote that I know is very meaningful to you and to Selena fans around the world. The goal isn't to live forever, but to create something that will. That quote is being honored in the most beautiful way during the Grammy Awards on Sunday of your sister Selena is the recipient of the Lifetime Achievement Award. Isn't that what, awesome? What was your reaction to that? Uh, Mind-blowing. Um, I, I believe I even got a little teary-eyed on that. There's a lot of video out there and footage of Selena when she talks about how excited she was to win the Grammy. And I was so um, honored to be able to be with her and Chris and Bill and I were there um, whenever she won the award and how amazing she looked um, that night. And and then now we're, we're 25 years later and who would have ever thought and that she would be honored with this Lifetime Achievement Award. And I think it's also for me, um, I'm very proud, and I know she would be also in regards to the fact that we are Mexicanos, Americanos, you know, we're Mexican Americans, and this is happening. So mm -hmm. it's huge. It's, it's really huge for so many, you know, for a different couple of reasons. More importantly, the fact that her career and her life is still being celebrated so many years later. As it should well, be. As it should be, I agree. You touched on the fact that Selena is no stranger to the Grammy Awards. In 1994, she took home the award for best Mexican American album for Selena Live. Can you take me back to that 1994 Grammys Awards ceremony? What do you remember? What were those conversations you were having with her that night? She was really excited about taking her camera in. She had the little Polaroid one that kind of you, uh, not the Polaroid, but the kind that you, the throwaway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and they didn't let her come in with it. So she was pretty bummed out about that because she wanted to take pictures with everyone. And she was in that white dress and it was all blue. It was just, just amazing, sounded amazing to take in that experience. I'll never forget that night for sure. But I will share a really cool part about that night. We're leaving uh, Radio City, City Music Hall in New York. And I remember we were crossing the street and people started chanting your name like, Selena, oh my God, Selena, Selena. And Selena looked at me and she goes, are they saying my name? You know, and then I turned around and go, yeah. And we turned around, it was like a little group of people over on the side that we were leaving, you know? And they were like, hey! like that and just saying hi to her and she was like oh my god and she waved she goes wow they know me here what is the quintanilla family plan are you flying to la are you coming to the grammys no it's not a social gathering type of thing and that's the reason why they um sent over the award you want to see it I would love to see it. Yet National Academy of Recording Arts and Sciences Lifetime Achievement Award 2021, Selena. Wow. Isn't what this is that awesome? Like? It's amazing. It actually, it's, it's sitting here in her museum right next to her Grammy. Wow, that is so special, Suzette. Um, it is. Is there a Quintanilla family viewing party going down? Are you all gonna be huddled together on one couch enjoying the moment? Um, no, I think we are still kind of keeping my parents safe, but we'll definitely be watching and definitely I hope everybody else will be as well. I'm looking forward to it. I would love to give you the opportunity right now here on Entertainment Tonight to just kind of look in the camera. You can say anything you'd like to say wow. to the Grammys or to the fans who have helped get Selena to this place. It, um, like always, it's nothing but mad love for everyone that continues to love and honor my sister. Um, it's just, I'm very proud to be a part of this family. I'm very proud to be a part of um, my band, Los Dinos. You know, our band was incredible. Joe, Pete, Ricky, Chris, um, Don and Freddie and my brother, and of course my beautiful sister, Selena. Um, they're an art. Uh, how could I forget our, our percussionist? Music is powerful and for it to transcend over 25 years and still being played, you know, it's pretty incredible and I'm very honored to be a part of all of it. And I know if Selena was here, she would have said the same thing.
This is such a difficult question, but if you had to pinpoint one moment that you think best defines Selena's career, what would that moment be? I would have to say the Grammys when she won the Grammy for the live album and being recognized at this level, you know, for a Mexican American band that played the Hano music in a realm of you know, Latin music, which is this big. I've always explained Latin. The Latin music is about this big and Tejano music is like that little bitty speck right there. And um, I think that that probably for me would be the moment where it was like, you know what? We're not so crazy. It can happen. Of course, your parents, your father especially, really included in your musical journey, your mom, oh, uh, yes. a, a pillar of strength and really there for you as a family. What do they think? of this big Lifetime Achievement Award? Oh, my dad and my mother, I mean, my brother, we're all honored. I mean, um, this is pretty, I mean, it's huge. This is really huge, huge honor. The fact that it's 25 years later, it, it that's powerful. You know, that's a powerful message um, of where Selena is. Um, and she's very much alive in everyone's um, hearts. I know, as we saw in the Selena, the series, the Netflix series. Yes. Mr. Q, Mr. Q is oftentimes not very impressed. I just heard that Mombasa, they're playing it on the radio. So? Lots of bands have one hit. Where's your next one? Was this award cool enough to impress him? Uh, yes, most definitely. I think, you know what, Deidre, to be honest with you, um, if you also in the movie, you know, that Edward James Olmos and also now the Netflix series, if you look at both of them after a gig, you know, there'd be a sold out concert or they'd be super packed, you know, at a venue and we would, you know, how do we do? And he'd be like, mm, yeah, y'all did okay. You know, he would never give us that, oh, you know, that praise. And I think that in a, in a way that really drove us even more to, um, to be better. I think that was a driving force that he kind of was mind tricking us in some way to be able to, to push us more, you know? And, uh, and, it, and it worked. I know your brother has publicly called winning this Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award a little bittersweet. Does it feel that way for you? I mean, everything is bittersweet, you know, and due to the fact that she's no longer here and she should be here she should be here talking to you, Deidre, and me on the, you know, right here next to her. And, but it's not that way. So, you know, I, I, I try to focus on the beauty that she has left behind. Um, it's what helps me deal with her not being here. We live in a time also where I have the luxury of going online, Deidre, and I can look at her. You know, most people that lose lo loved ones, they don't have that. Somebody sent me something recently about maybe a month ago and she's doing the interview and she says something like, oh, hey, before I go, I, I, I oh, I can't believe I did an interview. I didn't, I didn't do it. Uh, I didn't give love to my sister. Hey, she's that, you know, and then she starts talking about that and about our nickname. She called me Buffy. And then the, they start laughing and making fun about the fact that what Buff, Buffy means. And it's a kind of form of cariño between us. And um, see, I have that and that makes me happy. It made me cry when I came across it, but it made me feel good. I just feel like you have to really focus on the good things that make you feel great and don't focus on the stuff that you know you cannot change. This is how life is. And I've embraced what my life is since, you know, it's taken me many years to be able to um, come down this road. Am I okay? No, there's some bad days too, Deidre. You know, I'm not gonna lie, but for the most part, I really try to focus on the beauty um, of everything that uh, I was able to share with my sister, with my family, with our amazing band. And this right here, this Lifetime Achievement Award given to Selena for a uh, an amazing career that she left behind. What would Selena think of getting the Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award? Oh, I think she would be over the moon. I think she would um, be very giddy about it and um, extremely happy. And I think that this award, I hope, that the younger generation, the, the younger Latinas and the younger overall, everyone young 
you know, they can go back and they can look at this and think, you know, wow, you know, she's still doing it and she's not even here and she's been gone for 25 years. Mm -hmm. And that's a powerful, powerful message. And I hope that that resonates in our youth. I really do.